Buenos dias! Today we're gonna start our van renovations. We're gonna go pick up paint for the cabinets. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. so excited to start these van renovations. The van has been such a great place for us to spend our time for three years, so it's time to get some upgrades. We're gonna take off these doors and then get to work. Gonna be a big day, van renovations. A lot of these cabinets, you know, we touch them so much that paint has fallen off and stuff and really looking forward to kind of tuning up the van. A little bit of a refit here. We're really gonna put in some time, cabinets. So the place we're staying is super cute. We have a nice little area for ourselves, but they're letting us sand it with our extension cord over down here in the parking lot. All right, well, while Danny's doing that, I'm gonna try and get the pictures off of here. I almost forgot there's stuff on the inside of these walls too. So I think I'm gonna leave it at this for the first one. Ooh, it is really hard on the flat surfaces to get more than that off. You know, these are the touch surfaces, so those will be really good. And I think it's yeah, it looks great. It up. It'll be okay. Good job, babe. celebrate our first day of work we're gonna wander to the cute little town we're in Villa de Leyva we like your bag we got you we got we got you a bag we went shopping and we got you the bag <laughs> but what came in the bag? Wait, some reason today. What's going on back here? We're starting painting today. I am going to be painting two big cabinets. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It looks really, really nice out, but the weather forecast said it's gonna rain, so I'm just gonna be doing one at a time. I don't have painting clothes because why would you carry around painting clothes They're all over the place? So I'm wearing pajamas. All right, I gotta head to the hardware store to grab some more sandpaper and some lunch. Yep, just in time. And <laughs> they were about to fill these. Well, Emily's up there painting the van, so we got the animals roaming around. Graham, you coming to have a visit? Come to pay me a visit down here in the sanding station. What a good spot to sit. <laughs> so, my bad, I did not get enough paint, <laughs> which means that we're gonna have to go to the store. But with normal people, I suppose, you would just head to the store in your car. But our car is also our house, and we had already taken all the catnips off and sanded them. So now I have to put back on all the cabinets that aren't painted yet. So, which ends up making it look like this. Danny's still sanding the wardrobe cabinet and hopefully I'll get that back soon and I'll put that up. But uh, the other cabinets for the bottom part are ready to get put back on. I also painted today all of a lot of like white touch-ups in the van, just wandering around and seeing where stuff got a little dark from us touching it or it rubbing on something else. and. Touch that all up with a bunch of 
white paint so all of that is dried. I did it really early this morning. So it doesn't really smell in here anymore, but we do have the fans going high speed just to get new air to come through so we don't have to sleep in a van that smells like wet paint. All day Sambrito and Graham have been wandering around outside because of that and they absolutely have loved their time today wandering around outside. It's so cute. Hey, got you a snack. Oh, sweet. Oh, looks good. Here's the last one right here. Wow, you finished? Yeah, it's kind of crazy working with wood. Like, you can just really round any edge you want. Like, I think this edge kind of squeaked a little bit before. I know these by heart. <laughs> so I just thought, hey, might as well round that corner. Nice. You know? And... Nice. You did an awesome job. Hi, buddy. Hey, family meeting. Family Hi, meeting. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Wow, that's a big jump. Wow, Graham. It was pretty impressive that he would even come up to me when I was sanding. I know. He was just hanging out the whole time. Did you want to help? What are you doing all around in the wood dust? Well, it is too, but I better get my there. Oh, God. Get all that stuff off. <laughs> yes. There you go. We're all in the dirt. <laughs> what are you doing? It's time to start putting stuff back together. One cabinet done. I wasn't too sure about the color when it was outside because it looked very, very bright outside, but I have to remember that the lighting in here mm -hmm. is very calming, so they do look a lot darker inside. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I mean, obviously, these are only sanded <laughs> and not done. Just so you know like how hard it was to sand these, look how big this door is. It's my head. It's like three feet, at least. Jeez, and it doesn't make as much noise when you open it now, because I kind of sanded some corners. Yeah. We redid these, looking good, just like uniform, silver. We're gonna throw one of those here. So we're just really getting done the stuff that's been bothering us for a while, so I'm excited to have a new renovated van. All right, we're heading back to Home Center for some more paint. Man, while we're here in the big city, the small city, we're grabbing some food. Check this out. This here is Papa Criolla, those tiny potatoes that Emily cooked. But here's some traditional way with some meat in there somehow. And Emily's got like a Colombian burrito, they call it a un ruanado. So, yeah, man. got all veggies inside. This is looking tasty. What kind of animal do you have? Have you ever had a cup with a sculpture in it? <laughs> it's a bunny. I thought it was a. A burro, <laughs> a donkey. Well, we have the cabinets back off this morning. We're gonna, I'm gonna go outside and start painting. I'm gonna do this guy here, stain this, since we got it all sanded nice and smooth now. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. I got my set up here.
Gonna take a nice little lunch break with the yogurt. Oh, these are made out of marignon with rice protein, blueberries, and blackberries. So it's super tasty. It's been an hour, so I'm going to put the second coat on the cabinets. Here, another little project we're doing is to put some rust-proof white paint on these uprights. Before we had this, this was a piece of aluminum from the factory where we got this roof rack and it would always snap. So my buddy Joe, a BMXer, cut these out of a really long, big, huge tube and drilled these holes where it would fit into these attachment points so you don't have to drill in the roof. And he did a great job on that. These holes here are on the line this way. But it was a big piece of steel and we've spray painted it. We've sanded it, we've spray painted it. So it's just something to keep an eye on. So I'm gonna cover up everything, make sure we don't get any paint on here. And just, ch -ch -ch. Well, I put too much, but it'll do the job. A bit of rain out there. We're taking a break. Look at these animals taking their break. So every day we've been here, we checked the weather forecast and it always says it's going to rain, but it never rained. I noticed I was getting a couple little droplets on the on the cabinets while I was painting. So I moved everything into the van. Right after that, it's the sun came out. It was super sunny and really hot again. It started raining just a little bit again. So we decided, let's just pack everything up. I mean, we have to wait for the paint to dry anyway. And this way we're not breathing in the fumes inside. You know, both of us can start working and then We'll come back to it later. Eventually it did start raining really, really hard. We had just put the stuff under the van, so it rained so hard that, yeah, we got a, quite a bit of debris all over the stuff. I mean, it doesn't look ruined. We still have enough paint to clean it up. Minor disaster. Oof, it's okay, yeah, I think we can clean them off. Let's go check out the town of Via de Leiva. All right, well, we're heading into town. Yeah. It's actually a pretty nice walk. It's probably only 10 minutes and we're gonna go to this panaderia that we found that has like the best bread. It's got masa madre, which is sourdough and we haven't had it in so long. They also have English muffins. What? Just like really, really tasty, hearty bread that isn't very common here in Colombia. It's usually very sweet bread. In Philly, they even know what kind of bread the Philly cheesesteak comes on. Yeah, that's what, my, what some of my updates from home consist of. Someone calls me to tell me that Amoroso no longer <laughs> exists. Wow. And it's Licios or something like that. I've had it before, but, but yeah, bread is really important to me. So it's awesome that we found a really good bread shop with really, really tasty bread. Oh, the bakery's open! <laughs> this restaurant is called the Museum of Chocolate, so we're gonna try that with some dinner. This map has served us well all through Central America. This was about a year and a half of travel. Starting in Mexico, this part's Mexico. But I think it's time to take these down, clean the wall, give it some fresh coat of paint, and get the art situation figured out again. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. So we took down all the art, even taking off some wood. And Emily's over here taping up. I'm really excited to cover over all these scuffs and everything. The van almost looks like back when we were building it originally, like just a blank slate. I gotta tell you guys, if you ever use this double-sized sticky tape, you do not need to use very much. <laughs> we have a chance to, to start fresh here with a nice, clean, white, blank slate to put our art back up. There isn't much water damage or anything here. I was worried about this one. When you open the side door, sometimes it starts to rain. It's gonna be a big day tomorrow. He loves to sniff the camera. It's the cutest thing in the world. 
Ooh, that's looking good, babe. A lot of the work's just the prep, getting all this stuff off, putting this plastic. Ooh, but it's going pretty well. Moving on to the kitchen. Got it all plasticed up, cleaned up. You're killing it, babe. This stresses me out. What? I just worry like, oh, what if I spill paint on this, spill paint on that, and like, what if it starts raining, and just a million things, like. So I'm kind of happy doing the prep work. <laughs> Cause I feel like I can protect. Ooh, yeah, nice coat of white, anti-mold and everything. Emily's doing a great job with the painting. Oh, Graham. I don't know if Graham should go in here. Whoa. Graham, he's, you really want to be in here? You gotta get out of here, dude. Good boy. On the Alaska Highway, these folks who lived in a, a trailer, I think, uh, maybe an RV for the winter, and running the propane generates a lot of humidity too, as well as your breathing and whatnot. Their trailer just got full of mold and it ruined their their dream life. You know, they had to move out and rent an apartment because that mold can really ruin your day. So that's why I've taken the extra step, taking off some of these panels, cleaning behind them. We're gonna paint the back of those pieces of wood too. Hey, little buddy. Painting the back, and then I'm gonna be painting. Uh, wait an hour, give it another coat, put it back in. Nice. Getting a good touch up in on these back doors. She got really scuffed here. And yeah, Emily's killing it. This is our sticker collection from Ski Mountains. In one year we hit 36 ski mountains in the US. One of the best adventures with the van. You just wake up with a mission every day. You're just trying to explore all these mountains. Then the next year we just went to the good ones. <laughs> Emily's a snowboarder, I'm a skier. Corbett's Kular. Jackson Hole is a crazy run. Vibes of Panama, they helped us out in Panama. Winter Park, Colorado allows you to sleep in your van outside. And this one's from Spokane, my hometown, Mount Spokane. I love the white coat, babe. Well done, as long as it doesn't rain. Emily's got two coats already on this, but the real story is the cuteness of this cat. Just found a good spot to sit, huh, buddy? You're too funny. Lunch break. I'm making TV days. We're hoping to put them up tonight. Tomorrow morning, I think I'm just gonna do a little touch up, look at them really well in the in the light in the van, and see if there's any spot that I missed. I have a good amount of paint left. So that won't be too hard. It did sprinkle for a second, that's why they're sitting in the van now. But it looks like it's not gonna rain again. It's really nice out again. Oh man, right now it just feels like such a mess, but it's gonna be awesome when it's all put back together. Wow, that door looks so clean. I think I'll do the other side. That might have seemed excessive, but I got allergies and I have really been doing better since we started all these projects, uh, cleaning up everything. A really good tip for a van or a car is you can get these DC plug-in HEPA air filters, air purifiers, and we have one of those. We're gonna link to it in the description. That's a really useful feature when I'm having allergies in the van. Sometimes it's just the environment we're in and I can't help it. It's a mess in here. <laughs> we just kind of piled everything in and uh, I'm going to start putting it all back together. Anytime you change the sheets, Graham wants to help. He's such a good helper. We've got them all back up. I really love the way the new cabinets look. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of touch up paint tomorrow. And then we also have to paint this wall white and the, and the back a little bit more. But the walls look amazing and I'm, I'm super stoked to get the seats done now too. 
Yeah, there's definitely a couple spots where we got a little bit of paint here, but that's the next project anyway, changing these out. We ended up putting a coat of paint a lot of extra places just to clean it, you know, antibacterial mold, mold free. I'm excited to figure out where we want to put the art now. We're like redoing our whole room again. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. A couple other little things we did was switch out these for a little more sleek ones. But right here, boom. Yeah, this looks amazing. Yeah, it kind of hides like little imperfections when you stain it. And this will still, I think, dry up even more. So I'm loving it. So now we got the other side of the bed lifted up and Emily's gonna do the hard part. Today, we're gonna round out the rest of our projects. We're gonna be putting stuff back on the walls. We're gonna be cleaning stuff, trying to get it looking real top in here. Unfortunately, when you live in a van, these uh, roof vent fans, they get dirty pretty quick. Like, honestly, in like a week. Yeah. Sometimes I think, oh my God, I can't believe I haven't cleaned that. And then I remember, I did it a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, Especially the exhaust. Yeah. yeah, and today I think we're gonna double do it more than normal because up in there, that gets pretty bad. The only reason I'm showing you is because we're hoping for a great after shot. <laughs> right about. <laughs> Check out how good these fans look all clean. The blades clean up really, really nice. The screens don't seem made to last. So I think I'm gonna order some extra. We're doing pretty good getting the van put back together, but there's still a pile of laundry here. Look where Gramps at. Oh my gosh. You're the cutest. <laughs> Now that we've gotten everything painted, cleaned up, and most of the stuff put back on the walls, we're going to have a nice relaxing evening with our hot chocolate, popcorn, and our new favorite show. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what you think of this new beautiful color that we put on the cabinets. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>